The different defects that can arise during the repainting process include popping, also known as solvent boils. Let's now see what they are, why they appear and their possible solutions. Solvent boils are solvent particles that have not finished evaporating and that have been trapped by another top layer that has evaporated faster. They appear as bubbles on the surface. A sudden change in the ambient temperature can lead to the appearance of popping. A high outside temperature, a forced increase of the temperature in the booth, or an incorrect distance between the heat lamps and the part are some of the causes that will promote the appearance of this defect. To prevent the appearance of popping, it's necessary to respect the drying times established in the product's technical datasheet. We must avoid the temptation to try and shorten drying times in order to be more productive. Ideally, you should use a solvent that provides a balance between drying and booth temperature, allowing more room for manoeuvre during the application process. An excessive load of product will increase the risk of possible boils. On the other hand, applying thin and wet coats on the part will favour the creation of a much more even and homogeneous paint coat. As in many other cases, we must first identify the extent of the paint defect. If the defect is superficial, we'll start by sanding the affected area with a P1500 disc, increasing the grain as needed. Once we have managed to eliminate the surface boils, we will polish the piece with a cutting polish, and then apply another glazer. With larger solvent boils, it is advisable to carry out the painting process again from scratch. Prepare the part, sanding it until it reaches a surface without defects. Then apply the primer filler and finally the top coat. 